What's up guys, welcome back to Barfly Freeport. Today we're doing another harebrained test, which I'm sure a lot of you guys are gonna be excited about because it seems like a lot of you guys really like these kind of pseudo-scientific tests we do. Uh, today, Marius decided that he wanted to try and throw a monkey wrench into all of Cocktailia mm -hmm. by seeing if anyone can test, taste the difference between lemon and lime. So what, why don't you tell us what your theory is here and what drove this idea for the video? Because this is all Marius' video. Well, I've seen people make comments with that. You can't, tell, you can't taste the difference. Can you taste the difference? I don't know what the difference. And then we know that there are places they don't have limes or right. they don't have lemons and it's all called the same thing. Like when Not to mention. Kenya, it was like they called, they just called everything lemon, but it was lime. So it was like, very confusing. Well, also the history of limes and lemons are kind of interesting as well. And it, and it seems to be that there are some varieties of limes which are actual natural varieties like uh, key lime was one of them, right? But then there, the limes that we have today were actually bred from a citron, I, I believe. Isn't that what we read? Oh, uh, maybe. I so it was know. like the limes that we have today are sort of crossbred from a citron, which is a lemon-like fruit. So... That's also kind of interesting. I think in French, it's citron is lemon, and in Norwegian, citron is lemon. So that's citron, yeah. Citron. Right, so that makes sense. Uh, that it all kind of ties back uh, back in. So yeah, so how are we gonna do this? I, I set everything up for Marius so we wouldn't have to do too much. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna leave, and Marius is gonna make all the drinks. We're gonna make, what, three limes and three lemons. He's gonna mix them all up. There's gonna be a different, yeah. But we gotta lay some ground rules here, Marius, though. Seriously, because you are not allowed to mix lemon and lime into any cocktail because that is cheating. But, but wouldn't that be interesting? If you really can't tell, then you, you, that shouldn't matter if it's one that's mixed. Well, but here's the thing. I believe that I'll be able to tell between lemon and lime, uh -huh. honestly. What can, kind of- uh, I think that just flavor alone, I think you, I'll be you're gonna able get to tell. Like a but I will 100 say- 100% hit rate? You think you're gonna be able to tell? I, I don't know, I don't know. I'm not gonna get all cocky because the thing is is that I get all cocky and I say, oh yeah, I'm gonna have 100% blah, 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 and then like I get proven wrong. So I'm not gonna do that. I will say though that lemon and lime are very similar flavors. Mm -hmm. So when you mix the two together, I think it would be impossible to discern Although I do think that there's a lot of there's a lot of bartenders out there that say like, oh, you mix half an ounce of lemon and half an ounce of lime, and then you get the sharpness of the lime, you get the sweetness of the lemon, and you kind of get a more rounded sour. There's a lot of people who think that. Uh, you're thinking that that's complete malarkey, right? Because uh, you can't tell the difference. That said, I think that just for this particular test, mm -hmm. I think it'd be better not to mix them up because they are, in my opinion, they're, they're very similar in flavor, although I do think that lime is sharper mm -hmm. and I do think that lemon is a little sweeter. Um, they are very similar and so mixing them together might be a little unfair advantage. I, I don't think that you should do that. I think that we should make that a rule okay. right now. I'm gonna be like on high alert because I think you are going to do exactly what I asked you not to do. You're gonna mix them you might even mix all of them. Right. And, uh, Maybe there's and, and that's why I think we should establish some ground rules here. Maybe there, if you mix all lime. of them, we're proving nothing. Right. Or, or maybe there are no limes in there. Or no lemons. I don't know. All right. Let's do this. Let's see. I forgot the, <laughs> forgot the recipe already. All right. Let's get started. Uh, I need to mark the glasses. All right, so I guess you guys wanted to see me make more cocktails. Here we go, six of them. All right, okay. Whoa, one for each. I'm just gonna make him in a batch and see if he can tell the difference if I did that or not. So that's six ounces. This dance. It's really hard. Two. Oh, not enough. Okay. Ah, really? Come on. There should be more in there. No? Okay. 
Okay. Wait. I don't know if that's correct. We are doing it all over again. All right. Rewind. So we're doing three ounces of this. And this, there's six of this. Okay. This is tougher than it looks. What does he do? Like this? You think there's trickery in here now? Yes, I do. I definitely think there's trickery. 100%. Okay. There's no way that you are not tricker. You're tricking somehow. I mean, they look, I mean, they look exactly the same. Oh uh, yeah, they look exactly the same. Yeah, they do. I was afraid that they were going to be like different colors or something, but. No, they're, they're, they're it's pretty similar. Yeah. Lemon and lime is very, very similar. Okay, ready? Okay, number six first. What is that number three? Yeah. I feel like the citrus is gonna blow my palate out. It's lime. Number six is lime. No, that's it. Uh, you, uh, number five. It's a book out. Number six is lime. Oh, okay, that's number six. I put it ahead. Anything that I. I know that's that's uh, that's number five on. Oh, sorry. So number five is lime. Okay. That's lime too. Okay. You know what's funny about about tasting all these is that, and this isn't like an excuse or anything, but just you know, an observation. Mm -hmm. Once you start tasting things that are so similar, yeah. you know, once you start getting all of that citric acid on your palate, it's your taste buds start to get confused after a while because right. it's similar enough. It's not like the difference between gin and whiskey or something, you know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. it's like the difference between like an orange or a tangerine, really, if you think about it. Right. Okay. So I'm just gonna pick out the ones that are lime and I'll just say that the ones that are left are lemon. Okay. Or I can't, or I can't tell. Okay. That's lime. So these three, I think are lime. Okay. And these three are either lemon or a mix of lime and lemon, or I don't know, cause they're- So you can't tell six, three and one. These three right here, to me, these three taste identical and these three taste different than those. Okay. You know, so this is reading my palate like these are lime, okay. right? These are like very citrus forward, but like they don't have that like very sharp lime quality. Uh -huh. So, you know, they're probably lemon. I don't know. I can see that just from here that you probably squeezed a bunch of lemons. Although I don't know, you could have also mixed, you know, they're very, very similar. They're, these are similar, very similar, but, but these I think have the, that kind of like sharp limeness to it that 
that I would say this is lime. I don't know. I'm going to like try again. Yeah. And then you can, I mean, like the price is right. I mean, that's but fucking lime. It has to you, be lime. Do you want to change your answer? I and mean, you want some of them. I mean, I don't think my answer is really likely to change. Even if I'm wrong, I don't, I don't think my, my answer is likely to change. Okay. I can't tell if they are just lemon or if you stuck lime juice inside those. Well, you have to. It's, 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 yeah, you have to make a decision. Are they Why do I have to lime? make a decision? These Focus. three are lime juice. Okay. So that would mean that if you were just doing lemon juice, then these three would be lemon juice. Well, you tell me. Although these seem like a lot more bitter and like more tart than lemon juice usually is. So honestly, I feel like, you know, what I think, honestly, what I think is that you mixed lime juice into these three and then you had three lime juice controls and then you had three that you mixed a little bit of lime juice in with the lemon. That's what it seems like to me. Okay. Because the lemon juice tends to be a little sweeter and it has a, a little bit less of that bitter, like a little less bitterness to it than lime juice, which has a very sharp profile to it. And then it's very, and it has a little bit of that bitterness on the, on the end of it as well. Okay. So you think there's no lemon? I don't know. I, I really, I don't know. I mean, honestly, I really, I don't know. I don't think that these are pure lemon juice though. It doesn't seem like they are, uh -huh. but you're probably going to tell me that these are lemon juice and then these are lime juice. Man. We'll see. Uh, you can reveal the. Right, you can reveal. Da, 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 da. Yeah, uh, the ones five, four, and two, the ones you picked, they are lime. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, one, three, and six is a pure lemon. So these are all lemon. Yeah. Cool. So I, so I can tell the difference between lemon and lime then. Yeah, you just can't tell the difference between lime and some other stuff. Lime well, lime. no. I mean, the thing is, is you that I was just it. convinced that you were I going to it. add trickery into it. Okay. So, so. But I knew that these were lime and I knew that these were not lime. So regardless of whether or not, these tasted a little bit more bitter and a little bit less sweet than lemon juice usually is. That being said, these are fruits yeah. and they are variable. Right. But the, the, the point is, is that I could tell the difference very between six identical cocktails, which ones were lime juice mm -hmm. and which ones were not. And I think that's what matters. Yeah, there you go. And that being said, you know, the, the, the reality is, is that any cocktail that you make with limes, mm -hmm. you can make with lemon and it's going to taste good. Yeah. Like lemon and lime are not so different that you won't be able to make a cocktail and switch them out. You actually could. The thing is, is that there is a difference. There's a marked difference between the two. And I think we proved that today. I yeah. feel vindicated. Yeah. <laughs> you know, every, All right, every, guys. Every dog has his day, as they say. <laughs> I guess that's what they say. <laughs> All right, guys. So there you have it. You can definitely tell the difference between lemon and lime juice in a cocktail. We also learned that uh, lemon and lime is somewhat interchangeable. And you can, if you don't, if you live in a country where you don't have limes or they're incredibly expensive, you can definitely switch out for lemon juice and you'll be fine. Um, we also know that Marius did not add any trickery into this uh, test. Which the I was... trick was there was no trick. Yes, exactly. Yeah. He was trying to get me to, but that's why I wouldn't commit on the last three. Yeah. But and also, uh, it was I don't to know. That, yeah. I feel like so we close. had some good takeaways today. Yeah. My, my question is this, this is what I'm wondering. Mm -hmm. I'm wondering is after we edit this and we put it up, how many people are gonna poke holes in our process? That's what I I'm mean, wondering. Like, what did we like? What could we have done differently or better? I can't. I can't tell. But I have also been imbibing uh, sips here and there of cocktails all day long. So, guys, if you like this channel and you want to support more of these amazing, amazing tests, hit like, hit subscribe. Uh, check us out on theeducatedbarfly.com for articles, our virtual bottle program, and merch. And uh, we will both see you on another time. Oh, and if anybody has any um, any suggestions for different tests that we can do, hit us up in the comments. We read them and we will uh, design things around them if we find them compelling. So you know, make them compelling, and we'll make, and we'll do them. It'll be fun. All right, guys. I'll see you later.